Hey, welcome back to Kin Yoga. I'm Beth and I've got a power flow for you today. I've been reading a book about yoga this week and the first chapter is focused on its ability to reduce tension in the body and the mind. And it's a really great intention to keep in mind during your practice. So I invite you to keep that in mind today as we're moving through. And to honor that intention, we'll be doing a full body flow touching in on all parts of the body in an energetic and not a creepy way because I'm aware that sounded just a little bit weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, full body flow, we'll do some balancing as well, try and work into all the different areas where we store up tension and tightness and we can practice releasing, reducing that sensation here on our mat. All right, we'll start in a seat and begin with the breath that I know is most useful for me to reduce tension, body and mind. And that's with a long exhale breath. So to start with, we'll just draw our awareness to the breath, noticing it as it is now. Noticing if it's shallow or if it's deep already, perhaps that's your natural state. Just paying attention to the quality of the breath, what it feels like. And starting to feel your body ground down into this space as you lengthen the breath out now. So not, not needing a count yet, just drawing a deep breath, full body breath into your body. Letting that reach your spine up tall. And then on the exhale, shoulders drop down sit bones ground down into the mat, eyes closed down. And you take a few more like that, big full body breaths. Feeling length through your spine on the inhale and a groundedness, heaviness through the seat on the exhale. Now can you start to count the length of your next inhale? Take a little pause at the top of the inhale and aim to exhale longer on the way out than you counted on the way in. So if you inhaled for a count of four, you'll exhale for a count of six, seven or eight. Adding in a little pause at the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale for each round. Let's take three more rounds of breath here to your count. And when those three rounds are complete, you can start to blink your eyes back open, re-entering the space that you're in, maybe noticing if you feel different to when we began. To start with, let's take a side body opener, plant your left hand on the ground, inhale your right hand up towards the roof, exhale, stretch it over towards the left side of the room, rolling the top shoulder back, gaze can come up, you can stay up on the left hand or perhaps you plant the elbow down. Find as much length as you can from right hip to right fingertips as you reach long. One more deep breath in, exhale, return to center, swap hands, plant the right hand, inhale the left hand to the sky, exhale, side bend towards the right. Keep pressing the left seat bones down, reach through the left fingertips, extend through the left side body. Gaze can come up, top shoulder rolls back, one more deep breath in, exhale to release. Inhale both hands to the sky, 
Exhale, let's find eagle arms. Take the right arm under the left, bind uh, the forearms and then the hands. If this isn't comfortable for you, then you can always come to prayer hands. Start to bring your elbows up to shoulder height and then press the hands away from the body so that you feel a nice opening through your back. Take a deep breath in, then on the exhale, start to round your back so you crunch your body forward, your gaze comes down towards your belly and you sort of sit back into your hips a bit more here so you can gaze down feeling a rounding through the spine and perhaps a deeper opening through the shoulders. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release. Take your hands to your knees. Inhale, lift the chest forward. Find the opposite arch in the back as your gaze comes just slightly up, but you roll your shoulders back and down. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, take your hands to the sky. Exhale, this time left arm comes under right. You find eagle arms again and you press the hands away from the face as you open through the back of the shoulders, elbows at shoulder height. A deep breath in and then we start to round the back here as we sit back slightly into the hips to find the curve in the spine that we're looking for. Gaze comes just down. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release, hands to the knees. Let's find the opposite curve. Gaze can come up. Encourage the shoulder blades back towards each other. Open the heart. One more deep breath in. Exhale to release. Come onto hands and knees. Let's find a child's pose. Knees wide. Big toes together, hips down onto the heels, extend the arms forward. But as you do that, can you thread your right arm underneath towards the left? And then start to uh, drop your right ear towards the mat. Walk your left hand over towards the right as much as you can so that you feel a nice stretch there through your left side body as you open through the back of the right shoulder too. One more deep breath in, exhale to release. Let's take it to the opposite side. So left arm threads towards the right this time. Left ear comes down towards the mat. Right hand walks over to the left side of the mat. One more deep breath in here. And exhale, coming back to centre. Lifting up onto all fours, let's come straight into a downward facing dog on your next exhale breath. When you find your downward facing dog, as always movement is encouraged. You can feel into this pose however uh, suits you best today. Maybe pedaling out the feet, maybe some more movement in the hips, side body opening, whatever feels right. Just a few more breaths to do that here. And then we'll come to a place of stillness when you're ready. From a stationary down dog, take an inhale, come up onto your toes. On the exhale, bend your knees, step hop or walk forward to the front. Find a forward fold, a few breaths here as we lean the upper body down over the legs. Seeing how much length we can find through the spine as the crown drips towards the floor. You might like to take binds here. If you do, then ragdoll's an option. Binding around the back of the head is also a nice option. And we've just got another two breaths to take whatever shape suits you today. When those two breaths are uh, complete, drape the hands down towards the ground if they're not there already. On an in-breath, press through the heels, start to rise your body up into a standing pose, hands down towards the mat. On the next inhale, reach the hands up towards the sky. Gaze can come up towards them, press the hips forward. Exhale, swan dive forward, find a forward fold. Halfway lift on the breath in, lengthen the spine out from the pelvis, draw the belly in, Roll the shoulders back and down, gaze just towards the mat. Stay for one more deep breath in. 
Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. From here, ripple forward into a high plank. And you can hold it here for the first time, a few breaths as we feel into the posture. Feel free to take the knees if that feels better for you. Wherever you are, feel a strong line of energy through your body. As you press the earth away with your hands, you create a little rounding through your upper back. Your heels reach back. Your crown reaches forward. One more deep breath in. Exhale, let's lower, slow and controlled. Elbows by the sides, all the way down to the mat. When you reach the mat, let's take a cobra. So lift the upper body up, finding... A back bend here as you gaze forward, staying for a couple of breaths, feeling the strength through the back as you lift your chest up, seeing if you can use the back muscles here and not the hands to press you up. One more deep breath in, exhale, return down to the mat. Press up through knees or toes to a high plank on an in-breath and then find downward facing dog on the out-breath. Inhale onto the toes, exhale, bend the knees, step, hop or walk forward to the front. Let's move now, find a halfway lift, breath in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach for the sky, exhale, swan dive back down, forward fold. Halfway lift, breath in, exhale, plant the hands, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank, exhale to lower, this time Cobra or up dog on the breath in your choice. Down dog, breath out. Inhale onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Step, hop or walk forward to the front. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach for the roof. Gaze can come up. Exhale, swan dive back down, forward fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, plant the hands. Downward facing dog. Vinyasa is here, forward in breath. Exhale, lower. Back bend, breath in. Down dog, breath out. One more time, inhale to the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Step, hop or walk forward to the front. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, reaching for the roof. Exhale, all the way back down, forward fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, plant the hands. Downward facing dog. Ripple forward into a high plank. Exhale as you lower. Back bend on the breath in. Down dog on the breath out. Stay here for a full breath in and out. Inhale onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Step, hop or walk forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach for the roof. Exhale, dive back down, forward fold. This time on the in-breath, we're coming up into stork pose. So plant your left foot down into the mat. Really push through the left foot as you bring your right knee up with you to find stork pose here. Lifting the arms up towards the roof, lift the right knee. Let it be strong in front of the body. Really press through the left foot there. Drawing the belly in, that will keep you steady. Stay for one more deep breath in. On your exhale, see if you can sweep your arms back as you lean forward, leg comes back, extends long, aeroplane. So you're reaching for the back of the room with your fingertips and your back foot. Still strong through the standing leg, a little micro bend in the knee, gazes down towards the mat. Another deep breath in here. Exhale that breath out. As you inhale next time, crescent lunge, bend through the front knee, tap the back foot down, reach the arms up towards the roof. Scissoring the legs in towards each other, find strength through the thighs. See if you can square your hips off to the front, encouraging the right forward, left back. Holding it here, a deep breath in. Exhale out. One more inhale. Exhale, this time shift the body forward, reach the arms back, find a low arrowhead. So legs stay where they were, nice and deep, lunging into the front knee. 
Encourage the shoulder blades to draw back towards each other as you reach for the back of the room. One more deep breath in here. Exhale that breath out. Plant your right hand down. Inhale your left hand to the roof. Find a revolve in your lunge. Twisting through the body. Gaze up towards the hand if you can, the top hand. One more deep breath in. Exhale, plant the hand. Look forward, find your low lunge. Let's stay here just for a moment as we feel into the hips. Nice deep hip opening here. One more deep breath in. Exhale the breath out. Drop the back knee, press through the front heel. Inhale, hands to the roof. A deep breath in here. And on the exhale, a big movement. We're coming back to aeroplane. So lift off from the back foot, sweep your arms back with your leg as it extends. Aeroplane, we return. We're basically coming out of this flow the way we came in. Another breath in and exhale out. The following inhale brings you back up to stalk. Lots of control as you lift the right knee and the arms. A deep breath in. And on the exhale, plant the right foot down. See if you can sweep your arms back as you sit your hips, Utkatasana. A deep breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, lift all the way up, reach for the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, plant the hands, downward facing dog. Breathe in to come forward, high plank. Exhale to lower. Back bend, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Inhale onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Step, hop or walk forward to the front. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach for the roof. Exhale, swan dive back down, forward fold. The other side this time, right foot plants in. Inhale, bring the left knee up as you reach the hands to the roof, find stalk pose. And this first time through on the left side, we'll hold for a few breaths each movement as well before we increase the speed of the flow. Drawing the belly in here, take one more deep breath in. Exhale, aeroplane, see what you can do to extend your left leg back behind as you lower your upper body down, reach the hands back behind you. Drawing the shoulder blades in towards each other. Micro bend through the standing knee, helping to keep you steady here. Perhaps a little wobble like I just had then. One more deep breath in and exhale breath out. Inhale, bend the front knee, drop the back foot down. Find a crescent lunge as you reach up with the arms. More wobbling for me there, totally fine. All part of the practice. Again, hips stay level towards the front if you can. So encourage the left forward, right back. Squeezing the legs in towards each other. Reaching through the arms, dropping through the hips. One more deep breath in. On the exhale, exhale low arrow, reach your arms back. Lean the upper body forward. Being mindful of not pressing weight onto the front thigh, but being active through the upper body as you draw the shoulder blades in towards each other. One more deep breath in, exhale that breath out. Inhale, plant the left hand, reach the right hand to the roof, find your low revolve. Gazing up, finding rotation in the spine. One more deep breath in, exhale, drop the right hand down, look forward, settle into your low lunge. Let's just take a couple of breaths here in this really nice hip opening posture. Deep breath in, exhale the breath out. Drop the back knee, press through the front heel, inhale, lift the hands. And here's the big movement we've got for today, moving from this into aeroplane. So if it's too much for you, you can always just come into a low arrow. However, if you're willing to come with me, then we're moving to aeroplane. We start to lift up, shift our weight forward, press off through the back foot, reach the arms back, let the back leg extend. Aeroplane, a deep breath in and an exhale breath out. 
Then we'll move back up to stalk, inhaling left knee up as we reach to the sky. Exhale, drop the left foot, sit into your chest, sweep your arms back, Utkatasana, but reaching towards the back of the room with the hands. A deep breath in. Exhale, breath out. Inhale, sweep up, reach to the sky, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Downward facing dog. Come through your vinyasa, forward on the in breath. Exhale to lower. Back bend, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Let's flow now. Inhale onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Step, hop or walk forward. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press the left foot down. Bring the right knee up in front of the body. Reach the hands, stalk pose. Exhale, let's find aeroplane. Kick the right foot back, reach back. Inhale, bend the front knee, drop the back foot, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, low arrow, reach back, up your body leans down. Inhale, revolve, lift the left hand to the roof, plant the right. Exhale, plant the left back down, gaze forward, low lunge. Inhale, drop the back knee, reach the hands up, low lunge. Exhale, transitioning to aeroplane as you spring forward, reach the arms back. Inhale, let's return to stock, lift the right knee up. Exhale, plant the right foot, Utkatasana, chair pose, sweep the arms back. Inhale to rise up, straighten through the legs, reach. Exhale, dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, downward facing dog. Come forward on the breath in. Exhale to lower. Back bend, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale to the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Step, hop or walk forward. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Lift the left knee up on the in breath, stalk pose. Exhale, aeroplane transition all the way back. Inhale, find crescent lunge, drop the back foot, reach the arms. Exhale, low arrow, upper body forward, reach the arms back. Inhale, revolve, plant the left hand, reach the right. Exhale, hand to the mat, gaze forward, low lunge. Inhale, drop the back knee, reach the arms, find depth in the hips. Exhale, big movement back to aeroplane. Inhale, stalk pose, left knee up in front of the body. Exhale, drop the foot, sit the hips, reach the arms back, Utkatasana. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, swan dive, forward, forward, fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, plant the hands. Downward facing dog. Forward through your vinyasa, lowering on the exhale. Back bend, breath in. Down dog, breath out. One more time each side, inhale to the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step, hop or walk forward to the front. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot plants down, inhale, right knee up in front of the body stock. Exhale, aeroplane. Inhale, crescent lunge, drop the back foot, reach up. Exhale, low arrow, reach back. Inhale, revolve, left hand to the roof. Exhale, depth in the hips as you look forward, drop both hands. Inhale, drop the back knee, reach the arms to the roof. Exhale, aeroplane, we spring back up. Inhale to stalk. And exhale, plant the foot down, sweep the arms back, sit the hips. Inhale, lift back up, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Plant the hands, downward facing dog, exhale, breath. Vinyasa is here, forward on the in breath, exhale, lower. Back bend, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Last time, inhale, toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step, hop, walk forward. Halfway lift, breath in. 
Exhale, forward fold. Left leg lifts up, in breath. Stalk pose, exhale, transition back, aeroplane. Inhale, let's find our crescent lunge, dropping the back foot. Exhale, low arrow, reach the arms back, lean the body forward. Right hand to the roof, left hand down, in breath. Exhale, right hand comes back down, drop into the hips, look forward. Inhale, drop the back knee, lift the arms. And then exhale, shoot forward, spring up, aeroplane. Inhale to stalk, lift the left knee up in front of the body. Exhale, plant the foot, sweep the arms back, chair pose. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, plant the hands, downward facing dog. Forward on the in breath. Exhale to lower, back bend, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Inhale onto the toes, exhale, bend the knees. Step, hop or walk forward to the front. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's rise all the way up to standing, hands reaching for the roof. Exhale, finding eagle arms, let the right arm come under the left. Bind the hands or prayer hands if this isn't for you. And we'll move into the full expression of the pose if that suits your body today. So start to lift your uh, right knee up as you start to sit down into the hips. And then you can take your right leg, either wrap it all the way around the left, or perhaps it's like a little kickstand with the toes resting on the ground. And when you found what works for you, see if you can sit further down into your hips, gaze at one spot out in front, keep the chest lifted, think about bringing the elbows up to shoulder height, pressing the hands away from the body. And we'll stay here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Now start to press up, raise the arms to the roof, release the foot, and forward fold, let's dive down. We'll do the other side now. So when you're ready, pressing all the way back up, reach for the roof. And this time bring the left arm under the right as you find the same bind with the arms. Start to sit your hips down, then take the left leg across and over the right, placing it where it suits your body, your balance today. And then encouraging the elbows up to shoulder height, the hands to press away from the body, squeezing the legs in towards each other, really squeezing them strong and that will help you stay steady. Gaze is on one point. Let's stay for another five, four, three, two, and one. Start to press up and release. Left foot plants down. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Heel toe your feet out to the corners of the mat, or the edges of the mat rather, with the toes pointing out. And sit your hips down as low as you can. Malasana yogi squat. Just here for a short moment as a helpful way to transition down to the mat. And we're almost ready to wrap up here, but we'll take a few front body opening postures before we do. So when you're ready, you start to bring your knees down to the mat. Uh, tops of the feet will rest on the mat, hips then on the heels of the feet. Take your knees out towards the edges of the mat then take your hands behind you with the fingertips pointing uh, towards the back of the mat and then press your hips up so that you find a nice opening through the front of the hips into the quads, pressing, rounding the shoulders. One more deep breath in, exhale to release that down. We'll come just to a straight spine now before we move through that one more time. So when you're ready, take the hands back behind you, fingertips towards the back of the mat, deep breath in, exhale, press the hips up.
keep pressing out of the shoulders so you can feel an opening through the front. Press the hips more if you can. One more deep breath in. Exhale, sit the hips back down. Come into seated. And we'll end this class here today. You might like to end it in a butterfly pose just as I am here. So a seated position, but where your feet are together and your knees are out wide. And you can either just stay up tall in this pose and perhaps come back to the long exhale breath that we began at the start of the practice. Coming back to the count that you had there. So maybe it was an inhale for a count of four, an exhale of a count of say six to eight or whatever it was for you. If it doesn't feel that great sitting up tall, your option is always to lie your back body down. So you're in Supta Baddha Konasana, or you could come forward into a fold if you felt like that was what your body needed today. You take your option, see what you can do to stay with your breath, stay with your body for a few more minutes here. And I'm gonna sign off here now, but before I do, reminding you of that intention to release tension in your body and tension in your mind. And know that this part of the practice, this peak pose if you like, or the time that we spend not moving, but concentrating on the mental aspect of yoga or our practice is so important. So the longer you can spend here, the more it's gonna set you up for whatever comes next in your day. At least 10 breaths. I encourage you to do just that. And I'll sign off now, but see you again next week for another practice. Have a good one.